In this video, we are reviewing the Volante kiosk running in standard kiosk mode. Standard kiosk mode allows your customer to press options on screen to select items for purchase. We can still add in barcoded items. However, the majority of the items are driven through graphical elements and lots of menu options. Let's choose the touch the screen to begin and press our screen to start. So as we can see, we have a number of different categories available to us displaying different item types. When we touch on a category of items, it will display additional items for us to purchase. We can choose these items by simply touching an item on screen to have it added to our cart. We can continue adding items to our cart as we wish. And if we wish to return back to the main screen, we can hit the back button in the top left-hand corner. From here, we can continue choosing items to add to our order. We can also hit the home button in the top left-hand corner to return back to our home screen. The barcode in the top right-hand corner is just an indication that we can scan barcoded items at any time. If we touch on this, we get the same message appearing on screen and we can go ahead and scan in a barcoded item. I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button. From this screen, we can also see additional items that may have some properties on them that we can get more information about. Any item displaying an eye in a circle when pressed will show us additional information as we can see on this piece of sushi. The calorie counts can also be added to items depending on your use. Once we've selected all of the items we wish to add, we have several options at the bottom of the screen. I can press the cancel order button to cancel out of my order and start again. I can choose the view order button in the bottom middle to get a quick preview of the items already in my order. And from the screen, I can add additional items or I can delete them from my order by pressing the plus or minus buttons or by pressing the garbage can icon. Press the downward facing arrow to return the preview screen. We can press the checkout button in the bottom right hand corner to complete our order. Again, we do see the items listed in checkout before we continue and have an opportunity to delete or add additional items at this time or change our quantities by pressing the plus and minus buttons. If I wish I can continue adding in barcoded items at this time, or I can return back to my screens in order to add additional items to my order. I'm going to choose the go to payment option in the bottom to continue and complete my order. From here, it will take us to available payment options. I can choose to pay by credit card or other payment methods as allowed by your site. Some locations may allow payment by employee card for payroll deduct or other payment methods related to our employee. I can go ahead and choose the on account button and tap my employee card at this time to complete my transaction and complete my order. To start a new order, I would simply press the new order button to start again.